Hello everyone, Dana here from Dana's Electrical Services and in today's video, I have the full review for the Klein Tools CL800 clamp meter. So I did the, the unboxing uh, a few months ago. Now it's time to do the full review. I've been using it for, um, for the last five months so I think now is a good time to do the full review of the Klein Tools CL800 clamp meter. So I bought this one on Amazon, as I said, about five months ago, or a little over five months ago, um, for 127 US dollars. And now I will be giving you the full review after using it for five months. So the meter itself is still in good condition one of the main reasons for that is as i used it i put it back in the case that it came with so it doesn't get any um damage in my tool bag and so forth uh i noticed though the the ohm meter sign right there and the little dc sign right there for the amp it's it has some scratches on it I noticed that happens with the orange i don't know if it is coincidence or is it that the orange paint or the print is easier to to erase or rub over the white so you see there for the ohm ohm the ohm meter the ohm sign or the resistance sign uh the diode sign and same thing for the dc sign right there yep so other than that the physical condition of this meter is still good after using it for five months um still has my probe still in good condition same thing with the one for the temperature it's a bit dirty because of the light color but still relatively in good condition um so the reason that i bought this clamp meter was for well three main reasons i needed a clamp meter right and i needed a meter that could give me capacitance and i also needed a meter that could measure temperature so i was searching for that and i find this on amazon and the, and the reason why i kind of gravitate to this one more is some additional features such as it has it can measure both ac and dc voltage up to it can measure both AC and DC current up to 600 amps and it also has resistance uh, can measure resistance up to 60 mega ohm and another great feature why I gravitate towards this one is that it also has non-contact voltage tester capabilities so this can also um, test for voltage it, it is also a non-contact voltage tester so let me just run through and give you the full review of this meter this meter is also true rms without getting technical what that basically means is that it measures voltage more accurate so true rms are true root mean square sometimes you'll see it as true rms or t rms it's the same thing this one can also measure temperature up to well the range for temperature that it can measure is from minus 14 degrees fahrenheit up to 1000 degrees fahrenheit and in celsius that is minus 26 degrees celsius to 538 degrees celsius so that's a pretty wide range but you must be careful though you must be careful because the temperature capability varies with the type of thermocouple or thermocoupler that you use the one that comes with the meter the range for it is from well it, it, it's most it's more ideal or it's most ideal for measuring temperatures below 356 degrees fahrenheit 
or 180 degrees celsius so this one won't won't be able that came with the meter won't be able to measure the high temperature that this meter is capable of measuring so if you need to measure high temperatures you would have to buy another k type um uh, thermocouple you have to buy another k type thermocouple that can measure up to 1000 degrees fahrenheit or 538 degrees celsius so going through the on and off on and off this one also has auto turn off which is a great feature this one after not being in use for 30 minutes it's aut it automatically turn off it, that's a very good feature because a lot of time i'm using my meter and i forget to turn it off so that can save me a lot on battery on battery life going through next thing we'll be look at is the select function if i can get it to focus one hour later the uh, select function the sel right there so all we use that is you'll use that to select the secondary options now, now i'm on voltage and as you can see this is ac so to change to the secondary option i will click select and it will change to dc and that is how you use the select so amp ac change to dc same thing for continuity and resistance change to resistance just resistance uh change to diode testing same thing here for frequency and duty cycle that is how you use the select the next thing is the hole so if i should go ahead and measure or oh, let me just measure do a temperature reading let me go to right there plug in my thermocouple as you can see the reading that i'm getting is 90.1 there about degrees fahrenheit if i hold my hand on the end right there the temperature is a little higher so let me just press all which is at the side right there press all and i'll hold that temperature which is 94.6 so even though i let go and the temperature should now drop it's 94.6 because i hold it so i press all again and now it's dropped to the current temperature that it is reading so that is the old function the next function is the backlight and work light so the same old key you will long hold on it so you hold on it like this and the backlight which is, is the backlight is turned on and also this work light right here it's not the brightest but it's it it help, it helps me a lot it help, it helps me a lot and i kind of wish these um i could i could i kind of wish i had a, a, a I could turn on these lights separately because sometimes I want to turn on the back light but not necessarily this light but they come on together they come on together and um, after a few minutes I'm not quite sure how long it will automatically turn off or you can hold on it and turn it off so the next function of this is the range function so even though this meter is auto range so it will change the range automatically not like this um next client tools mm300 where you have two range for the voltage ac voltage which is 600 and 200 and you have to switch between those range for the dc i have more options so 600 volts 200 volts 20 volts 2 volts 200 millivolts i don't have to do that 
with this meter it automatically change range but it also gives you the option if you want to select the range you can press the range button and the range changes change you and you can hold down on it and it goes back to auto the next function of this meter is that which is a really great function sometime is the non-contact voltage tester which is this design right there ncv so if you hold down on it it becomes a ncv so let's just test it out right there this is the power wire well this is not ac so i don't think it will work okay let me get an ac power wire just a moment until i get the ac power wire So this power wire right here, which is an AC power wire, I can, if I touch it, the light turns red, right? Because it is a non-contact voltage tester. The light turns red. I wish it also had a, um, a sound function for the non-contact voltage testing. That would be great if it also made a sound, right? Even if it is the same sound that it makes, when um like when you're doing a continuity test let me just go on it to show you guys the sound that i'm talking so i wish it had give me this sound so in addition to the light coming on i wish it had made sound for when i am doing the non-contact voltage testing a little more on the non-contact voltage testing though I don't think this can replace your pen type non-contact voltage tester because uh, I, I thought it was I thought it would it could replace it but after using it for a while I realized that it's not really a good substitute when you have a single wire like the one that I was testing just now uh, it is good at doing that but when you have a code crowded space with many different wires and you want to go through and um individually check the different um which one is live and which one is not a pen type is better this doesn't work very accurate and this can't go in those small spaces that i that the pen type can go in so this is not a good substitute for the for the um pen type non-contact voltage tester but nonetheless it does the same thing and it does it great in its own way um another feature which most of the client tools multimeter has is the probe holder which i sometimes use so can do it like that let's put the probe right in right there so you can use that to touch one end and then you can move this one so you can hold it on it like that and touch touch the next contact point so that is a nice little feature as i said most of the client tools multimeter and clamp meter has that feature these days yes and as i said before it is ac dc current ac dc current you would need a probe for the current you select to change between AC and DC and it's also AC and DC voltage and it can measure as I was saying before it can measure up to 1000 volts and up to 6000 ampere it also has the LOZ or low impedance. It also has the low impedance feature. This is a feature that I've never used before. And um, even if I do use it, it's one that I would not use that often. Right? Uh, and this is something I need to educate myself on more. But based on the little that I know, if I'm remembering correctly, the low impedance test is a voltage test. Um, is a voltage tester that you use to measure 
if there is ghost voltage so ghost voltage is when you're getting a voltage reading but by right there is no voltage because as the name suggests it's a ghost voltage it's not real so when you um, use the low impedance to measure that voltage when it applies a low impedance across that um across that that uh across those two wires it will change to zero to show you that it does it it's not real so that is what i understand from it uh the continuity testing which i did a little before very nice sound load sound you can also look to see that it goes to zero all right nice continuity uh you can change to measure just resistance as you can see it doesn't give you the continuity sound but it measures the resistance i'm connecting the two wires together here so your resistance should be zero and you can also change to test diodes right uh this is for the frequency and duty cycle you can switch between them this one is for your capacitor so this can also measure capacitance which is one of the main reasons why i bought this multimeter this option is for your temperature both degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius and use a select to change between them right and this is the LOZ that I already went through already and that's pretty much it so a little on the battery so for the battery you just pull that screw right there then you lift I think it needs to come some more and this it uses two triple a battery so that is it as it relates to battery replacement and I really enjoy using this clamp meter. I usually enjoy using it. Um, sometimes I use this one. This is the one that I have had it for a while. You can see it looks beat up. MM300. This is the CL800. When this one fails to get the job done, then I move for this one. And this one always get the job done. So this is a great um clamp meter i recommend it so there you have it guys this is the full review of the klein tools cl 800 clamp meter and this was another video brought to you by Danai's electrical services for more videos like these please feel free to subscribe to my channel at Danai's electrical services thank you thank you thank you